Welcome to the History Hunter. Welcome to our explorers with the World War II time frame. And today we are most definitely going to surprise you because we are heading down this hill, up another hill. And what is there, you will thoroughly enjoy. So join us and let's go out and find the path together right now. This is special, this is very special guys. I think you've never seen what we're gonna show you that is further up here. It's like taken out of a fairy tale movie. It's like absolutely something that you've never, never seen before. And we're gonna be so proud to be able to share that with you. We are basically right now lost, <laughs> but we will find this place because we've been walking in the forest here for an hour. So definitely hope and we will find what we're looking for. This thing here that you're gonna see is a fortress that was built in 1917. Yes, I know this has got nothing to do with the Second World War, but it's such an amazing structure. We just had to share it with you. And when you see the details that are up there, you're gonna be blown away because it is so fantastic to be at the old historical sites and find very unique features that some of these fortresses has. And I just can't wait to share that with you. Already here, several hundred meters away from where the fortress starts, you have this wall and it goes for hundreds and hundreds of meters into the terrain. And this was where the firing could come in from the rifle soldiers right here and it's like taken out of a very old movie of how to fight a battle in the old days, just like this. And uh, all of that forest wouldn't be here. It'd be cut, cut down, It'd be free view all the way down into the valley. Oh my goodness, come on, let's find this place. Wow, we found it. This is basically smack inside the fortress and suddenly you can see that there's a lot of things going on here. The first thing I can see is this here. I'm not 100% sure what's going on here, but this is probably a water reservoir. Oh wow, eagle eyes. Yeah, I saw that. That is hollow. Are you kidding me? See that? That is fighting positions right out from the mountainside. And you see, this is where we enter. And then you come over here and suddenly there are multiple firing positions. See that? All of that is called rifle galleries. And inside each and every rifle gallery, there would be men poking up with either rifles or actually machine guns. And this was most likely the opening to these rifle galleries. Maybe that one is for MG. This one is to attack the enemy from behind. So let me show you. Oh. If you go behind me, let's say the enemy is coming in here. They are kind of walking up here. They're fighting against them. Maybe they took out them. Then they come here. And what happens? You're being hit from behind. That is a pretty spectacular little feature. And then again, it's just started because I can see something absolutely crazy up there. There are rock walls like 15 meters high. And what is that? Is that a huge opening? Yes. This is exciting. Look at this, guys. This is a really, really classical, you know, rifle battery from the beginning of the 1900s. All right, we found the right opening. We are entering this fantastic fortress from the past. The right way. <laughs> so we came from here, messed up in there. <laughs> and uh, this seems like it led, uh, no, it doesn't. But this would definitely keep you out. And if you manage to get in here, that is the machine gun position that took you out. But just behind us, there's another position that could take you out. So inside here, there's another rifle gallery and I'm thinking, how did I get in there? I think there's a tunnel inside this thing here. I think there's a tunnel inside here and somehow they got into the mountain and then they could take you out through this rifle gallery here. Because I doubt that there was an opening there, but most definitely, see that? These slits, if they saw you, well, you're gone. 
Come on, let's go into the main gorge because that is absolutely stunning. So you want to see something really cool? This is the main gorge. Wow. I don't know what to say other than what a truly spectacular place to look into. And you know what? The main features are actually on the top there. Really but you can see openings everywhere. And they've done some I work here recently to prevent the mountain from falling down here. It's been very scary at some places, they said. And you can see again here, most of these are shut actually. They are casted in. But look at that thing. That is the longest Regelbau I've ever seen. <laughs> you know, we are used to German World War II bunkers. And that is basically what you see when you see a huge German Regelbau, which is the name for a standardized build that the Germans put on the Atlantic wall. And when you see this thing here, it's like, wow, what a massive Regelbau. Mm -hmm. But what it actually is, is that the whole mountain here is almost fully uh, kind of hollowed out. So there's a huge setup inside here, but we just wanted to take you around here first, and then we're gonna go up to the top and show you the different features that are there. But it's just concrete up on concrete everywhere. And again, see this right-hand side wall here? This is all to prevent any enemy from getting into this area here. So it's like really night and, you know, knights in armor, all of that stuff. And you can see how long this is. It is insanely big. And I'm just gonna follow Eagle Eyes. And uh, I see something in the front there, which is interesting. It's like battle scars, so let's check that out. You know, the Germans actually tried to take this place. They took it, and I'm not 100% sure whether this is actually battle damage. But you see that all of these holes in the wall, they are definitely rounds that's been fired. But then again, I don't really think they fought right here on the battle or, or at the um, fortress like this. But that looks very much like bullet holes, doesn't it, Eagle Eyes? Yes, it's definitely things. bullet holes. Can you see any fragments or any kind of bullets inside there? Sometimes you can't actually see that stuck into the concrete there, but uh, who knows. But again, another set of uh, rifle galleries and another set there. And that was made to keep people out from coming up here. So this circle around with all of these, you know, tall walls would prevent anyone from coming up here. But now we're going to figure out a way how to get to the top and show you the fortress from above there. Did you know that you can become a World War II History Hunter team member and the artifacts here could be passed on to you? In this manner and fashion here, by creating beautiful World War II dioramas and displays, you can be the future keeper of something very, very special by the history and the history hunting that we share together. Check out the link in the video description. You can click that and you can become a patron team member if you want to. Different kind of perks with for your eyes only videos, travel vlogs, restoration projects, all of that good stuff. And if you want to know more, check out the supporter videos in the beginning of each month. But now let's continue our little adventure. Yeah, I think it's a rifle gallery. I think you're right. And then you can see suddenly here, there's a tunnel going inside there. That's been shot and it continues up the hill. You can see here, you can see more of that. So guys would come to this position here, man the rifle gallery. There's an under pa passage there and then they were ready so we are working ourselves way up to the top of the fortress and I can't wait to share that with you. That's an observation post, see that? This opening here, it's also been shut. That's too bad, but I guess you could come from the main system. That is the entrance that you saw further down. So this is an observation post and it's kind of pointing in. Let me show you. You can see this cupola here. Oh wow, look at the horizon here guys. So this command post here really had this spectacular views. And that's what they needed to have because they had to take control. And believe it or not, right from this position, the local army 
managed to fire more than 20 or 30 shots towards the advancing German forces. And they actually also managed to hit one of the artillery guns that the Germans had. Is that right, Eagle Eyes? Yes. Yeah. And also, they wounded some of the German soldiers, but of course, they couldn't stop the invasion. They couldn't kind of stop them because there were too many of them and too few up here. But there were skirmishes and battles for this fortress and that is pretty cool to know. Right here was something pretty spectacular. It was a Schneider L40 turret gun. And it was one of these guns that managed to hit the German equipment and Cologne coming up the road here. It's removed now, it's long gone, but it's amazing to see that this is this exact battle station where the local army said, hey, we're going to do some damage to the Germans, and they actually did. This is one of the old uh, positions. You can see it's kind of been filled in. We think it is a original rifle battery or gallery. And you can see the reason, because there's a step there. The soldier would come in here, step on that, put a rifle on this flat plateau, and then they could fire down into the area here. And now you start to see the gorge is right there. Let me take you down there. So be very careful here, Eagle Eyes. You stay there. Okay, I'm gonna show them. See here? That is why this fortress was so difficult to take, because how do you get over here? You don't have like a 25 meter ladder to come over here. And that is why this place was very important to get. Even the Germans were surprised to come here and see all of the installments that was here. Because this was, as I said, built in the beginning of the 1900s. And when the Germans came here, they were totally shocked to see all the stuff they had here. And even the turret guns, they didn't know that that was here. And the turret guns was dismantled and removed and sent to a totally, completely different area. So that is basically what the Germans did here. They come, they came, they took over, and then they said, Listen, we don't need this because this is such a desolate place. We're just going to get the guns, get them to another smaller place, and basically that's it. Rifle gallery tunnel continuing here. Let me see if there is another green door there. No, that's been completely shut by concrete. And you have to imagine this is for different warfare than the Second World War with the, you know, they had great launchers, even rockets and Panzerfaust and all that. During the beginning of the 1900s, there was, wasn't even hand grenades. So this was sophisticated warfare with machine gun positions, rifle battery, the gun turrets. It was very complex for the time. And this place here was very expensive to build when they built it. But holy Madonna, this is such an incredible view, guys. And I hope you enjoy and appreciate our effort to be here. Wow, Eli said he thinks that it was the second gun turret, Schneider L40, right here. And we think that it's been sealed off as a little tunnel coming up for the crews to come up and down into the gun. There's something here that we think could be Mullen, and I read somewhere. I think that was actually a searchlight that the Germans put up Eagle Eyes. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it was that. But you can see we are now at the very highest point of the uh, fortress here. And see everywhere. Oh, I, I, Eagle Eyes, this is where we came up. You see that? That is the direction we came up. Completely wrong. We spent about an hour in the forest trying to find this place. So you can walk right through it if you wanted to. <laughs> Nevertheless, this is the top point but there are still features here, so let's see if we can find them. You guys, you did something special. You helped us out with a little donation on the Super Thanks feature, and I said, I will bring you and make you historical. And you know our historical, because each and every one of you on that list can see your own name. And as for long as this video is here, you can actually be the one who can say, look, I was here with the History Hunter team, and I'm so glad for that. Thank you so much for making these dreams come true. Couldn't have done it without you. Absolutely so appreciated. And uh, let's continue. Eli said that is a terrifying drop. And it is. See that? How much is that? 20 meters? Um, 
it is absolutely a way way down there that is wild and uh, this is like medieval kind of castle constructions you're kind of doing things that they did like in the 1600s and even way way before that they built castles in the middle east and all of that in this kind of way and to know that they did that in the beginning of the 1900s is pretty strange because you would have thought they were more sophisticated than that but this is the way they did it because that's the only way they knew how to do it down there you can see the only opening into the gorge to get people in here and that is pretty awesome to see so they channeled a tunnel through there and that's i said the only way to get troops in and out all the rest here was completely sealed off by this like 20 meters high walled uh enclosement and all the activity that took place on the top here that was kind of the basic uh feature here so the two guns um some bunkers uh rifle batteries Actually, I'm stunned to see that there's not more here, but uh, there are a couple of more features, so let's check them out. Just so here on the side, looks to be like a trench system again, closed off. Another gallery, there's a rifle gallery on this side, and uh, let me see, yep, pretty substantial. And just imagine hundreds of guys here with rifles and a soldier in those days would look something like this and all they had was a rifle and I'm not sure what other kind of guns or weapons they had but they had rifles to, to kind of defend themselves but the only thing they could attack with was the two guns that I've seen was installed here and also as you can see here I'm going to show you here that is another one of the uh, observation post maybe that could also be a fire and control post I don't know see that the only other observation post here and that is also shut off it's too bad that they actually shut off everything but at the same time I do understand you have to keep the children safe and all of that but also there's a little room under there and this control post was very vital I could see in many directions and you can see the landscape here is very flat and I do think I read somewhere that when they built the castle or this area they cut down all the forest around here so they have full plain view of everything that kind of happened around here it's another rifle gallery see that so the guys would be down here and you can see basically that all of these are munition pockets and uh, this is slanted a bit downwards so when the soldier would stand inside here they would first step onto the first one the second one and the height is very kind of perfect for aiming the rifle downwards a little bit some of them are flat on the top and some of them are canted so when you lean on top of it you can cant your rifle downwards and all over the place here you can see the gorge coming down here so it's a very special kind of uh, philosophy behind uh, a fortress like this because for me it looks more about protecting yourself than kind of being able to attack but then again um, the attack that they could do here consisted of some artillery uh, cannons that was assembled and used further down in the terrain. There are several places where we have seen uh, tra uh, traces of uh, artillery gun positions. And uh, up here, I think it was just basically a way to defend yourself against an enemy that could come up on the hillsides on the other side of the gorges. And you wanted to protect the guns, so you need a lot of guys to protect the guns. And these guns could go on forever with the munition they had stacked inside the mountain here. And I guess that's it. They had a very simple philosophy. We build this. We have some guns, we can attack the enemy coming in from here and if they try to attack us, we have the rifle gallery, we have enough men, we can sustain ourselves in here for weeks and basically that's, that's it. Wow, with this absolutely amazing view, I want to give Eagle Eyes a thumbs up because he 
is the fantastic enthusiast to make, that made this possible because he is doing a lot of research in this area. We have found other things that we're going to show you later and we have some incredible features that you're going to enjoy. But this thing is something that Eli has found and I'm very, very glad for that. And I also hope you learned something and if not, at least you can enjoy this incredible view. Indeed, I really hope you enjoyed that lost fortress. We certainly did. If you want to help us to reach more locations like this and go out and find more history, you know we have the super thanks feature here. Basically, your opportunity to help us to go out and find even more interesting places like this. I just love to see that old style building techniques and uh, you know the island in the middle there with the gun positions and it was just amazing and so refreshing to see that and not just the uh, German World 2 installments because this was so so high tech for the time but today it's like totally stone age but uh, during those days that was the uh, state of the art way to support and protect such an area. As I said, this was on the Touching History Tour. Thank you each and every one of you for helping us to go out there and find more. To all of you beautiful people who watch, subscribe, comment, thank you for that. Also to all of you who donate on the PayPal thing, thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, before you know it, we will be out there and share more with you. So thank you for being here, stay safe and uh, keep smiling.